Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we are going to show you how to add a neutral. We're going to show you this because we get this question a lot because people want to add a neutral wire for a smart light switch. I'm going to show you the wiring diagram, how you would need to wire that up, and how it would work in your home. But before we go through all that, it's really important to know that there are smart light switches that don't require neutral wire. So you don't have to do all this work, but you can because some of you like to do it the hard way and some of you won't want to use the light switch that I recommend, even though it's a good light switch, just because you might have your own personal preference or you want to use a different light switch for whatever reason. If you don't have a neutral wire in your light switch box, you can use the Lutron Cassetta smart light switches and they will still work without a neutral wire, which means that they're going to work with pretty much any home in the US for wiring and you don't have to add a neutral wire, you don't have to do any of this work. So we'll put a link to those below. This is no means an endorsement or advertisement for them other than they are good quality switches, but it is an easier solution than adding a neutral wire most of the time because typically it means you're gonna have to open up walls, or that you're gonna have to run new wiring through conduit. So, now we'll show you how to add a neutral wire and what that means. What I've got drawn here is basically just a typical electrical circuit. And out of an electrical panel, it's gonna go feed to potentially an outlet in a room, a light switch, and the light. And we've got drawn here the hot wire and the neutral wire and those typical paths that these wires would take throughout your home. And in your home, you're going to have multiple circuits. You're probably going to have one for the kitchen, one for your living room, one for bedrooms or individual bedrooms. They're all going to have an electrical circuit. And each electrical circuit is really defined by it has a hot wire side of it and it has a neutral wire side of it. And there's also going to be a ground wire in newer electrical circuits. And the ground wire is very important to protect you. We have not shown this here because the ground wire is going to go everywhere and it is not part of what you need to know about how to add a neutral wire other than you need to have a ground in your electrical system and you should know that. If you don't understand that, you can contact a qualified electrician or go through that process, but a ground wire or metal conduit if you live in a state or locality that has metal conduit. So, what we've got here is kind of typically how things would be wiring up. You've got a hot wire, that would first go to an outlet. And then on the other side of that outlet, usually you're going to have a neutral wire that would come back to an electrical panel. And the reason for that is that when you have an outlet, you can't usually just daisy chain these along because if you did, you wouldn't be providing power across the two plugs or the device that you were trying to power. That's typically why the majority of outlets have both a hot and a neutral wire. And typically, even if you don't have a neutral wire in your light switch box and you unadd a neutral wire, there usually is a outlet on that same circuit somewhere that has a neutral wire. But it wasn't always run to the light switch just because whoever was running the light switch wanted to do it fast or that's just how they did it that time and they just ran one wire over there. So, if you want to add a neutral wire, you could take it from here, but we'll kind of walk you through how that works. Now, there are plenty of light switches that do require a neutral wire for smart lighting, and that's because they use the neutral wire to power the Wi-Fi chip without powering the lighting circuit. So what happens is that Wi-Fi chip is powered because you have a hot and a neutral going to it, and it allows it to communicate with the router. The reason that the Lutron Cassetta light switches don't have a neutral wire requirement is because they essentially dim the lighting switch to a super, super, super tiny, tiny, tiny amount of electricity. And that electricity still goes through the circuit, but it's not enough to activate the light. So it is still able to power the Wi-Fi chip within the Lutron Cassetta switch. And that works because Lutron doesn't technically use Wi-Fi. They use their own proprietary RF frequency, which requires very little amount of power versus the majority of Wi-Fi light switches use actual Wi-Fi that communicates directly with your router. 
And that communication process takes up a lot of power, and this hence the reason that you need a neutral wire. So you've got a hot and a neutral in your outlet, and then typically from there, if you don't have a neutral wire in your light switch already, what you're gonna have is a wire that will go from the outlet, or you could have no outlet at all, you could just have a hot wire going to this light switch, and it's gonna go to the light switch. And that hot wire goes in here, and then you can see we've just indicated the light switch is open or it is off. What happens then in the technical term for this wire coming out of the light switch to the light fixture or the device that you're gonna be powered is called the load wire. We'll write that up there for you. And when the light switch is open, there is no power going to the load. As soon as this light switch closes, now you have power flowing from the hot through this outlet, or it doesn't have to be there if it's, if it's not, going through this hot wire, going into the light switch, the power then flows through the load and it goes to the light bulb here. And it's gonna light up the light bulb. And now, on the other side of that light bulb, what you have is typically just one single wire plus the ground wire. Uh, and that's gonna go, now that electrical current is now gonna go back down. What is the neutral wire? Down to the electrical panel. Now this neutral wire could be wired just like this instead down to the outlet, or it could go back to the electrical panel. Doesn't matter as long as it's part of the same circuit. We don't know how it's wired because we can't see in walls, but we can open up electrical outlet, take the cover plate off, move the electrical outlet forward, and see if a neutral wire is in there. And I'm gonna guess 99% of the time, you will have a neutral wire in there. So, you say, how would I add a neutral wire then to the light switch? Well, what you could do is because you know you've got a neutral wire here on the back side of the light switch, you could either find that, okay? And you could somehow bring it back down to the light switch right here. You still have to let this wire go back to the electrical panel or go back to the outlet, how it is already wired up. But you could Go up to the light fixture, find that neutral wire, which will be on the other side of wherever the load wire is, and you could run that wire back down into the light switch, and now you have a neutral wire for your smart light switch. However, it's probably gonna require you to open up walls and do some patching and everything to get that wire back down into the light switch. So it's not always super easy. But if you have conduit, it's as simple as just pulling another wire down back through the conduit and into the light switch. The other option that you have, and you have to make sure that this neutral wire is on the same circuit. That's the ideal way that you want to do this, is that you could go from this outlet and you could splice in right here at this neutral wire that's on the outlet on the same circuit. And you could run a neutral wire to the light switch like so. So the difference really is, do you want to open up your walls along the baseboard? And you know, you don't have to open up a big section and potentially drill through studs to wire it to your light switch. Or do you wanna open up the ceiling where the ceiling fixture is and bring that uh, electrical wire back down to the light switch? It really just comes down to where do you wanna do drywall patching? Because you can add the neutral wire, but it's gonna require you to open up walls unless you have conduit. If you have conduit, you could go to this outlet and you could push a wire from the outlet to the light switch, or you could pull it depending on how that conduit is shaped and how many wires are already in there and everything else, but it is possible with conduit. And it is also possible without conduit, it just means that you're gonna to have to do some painting and patching. So that is how you add a neutral wire for 
a smart light switch or for a light switch. Now, I would recommend that if you're here and you're asking this question, you probably should just install a smart light switch that does not require neutral because it will take less time, it will cost you less money, and you don't have to have a huge understanding of how electrical systems work, and you are more likely to get it right and have the product and end result how you want, in which case I would recommend the Lutron Cassetta system, which works with Alexa, Google Home, and Siri, and is a really competent system. Now, you can go do this on your own, but you don't need to. So, I hope, Alexa, off. I don't know why Alexa just did that. I probably just yelled into the camera. Sorry for that. But that is how you add a neutral to a light switch. So I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Leave some questions below in the comments if you have any, and I'll try and help you out. Thank you.